Hey YouTube, how's it going? MacMan here, and today we're going to be looking at my top applications for Google Chrome. Now you may have heard that Google Chrome has released a web app store for Google Chrome. Um, it's really great. I am enjoying it already. This uh, add-on has made Chrome my most favorite web browser. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, they just released this web store, pretty much like a Mac app store, but for the web. Um, they've also released a new computer. It's called the Chromebook. You may have heard of that where it's only internet The, com the whole computer is internet and um, that's why they created this so you can have games and applications on the internet rather than you have them as an application So that's a really cool. Um, here's the App Store as you can see there are tons and tons of games themes um, Extensions things like that so you can search around uh, once you're done this if you have Google Chrome and uh, yeah, so let's jump right into it. So once you install it, they will appear on this dashboard. This dashboard will open up when you make a new tab, or you can also uh, make it be like this in settings, so when you open up Chrome, uh, this will be your default page. So my first favorite application is Weather Byte. Uh, this application just tells you the weather for um, the next four days and the current temperatures, humidity, wind, uh, etc. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can also change uh, the locations and stuff like that. Next, we have Flixster. Flixster is a great application. It just tells you all the movies that are in theaters um, that are coming out on DVD. They also have ratings for movies, and that's just really cool if you're looking to find a good movie. Uh, they also show the um, the times that they will be in theaters, um, so that's really awesome. Rather than going to look in the newspaper or whatever. Um, then we have Angry Birds. Angry Birds is on the web, and the graphics are quite good, and it's not slow at all. Um, so let's just start it up. Um, so you have the main menu as usual, and you have different levels. I am only on level 2. I haven't played it much. Um, so you have the zoom in, zoom out controls, and you just click on the bird, hold it back, and release, and he will fly. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to see that they made some games actually for uh, the internet, um, especially Angry Birds. So that's really cool. Next is Quick Note. Quick Note, uh, you may have seen me do an application review on this uh, from the Mac App Store. Now they have it on the internet. Um, so this is really nice. You can pretty much create your or any new note um, and just like that and then delete it if you'd like to. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now my next two applications are extensions that you can get for uh, Google Chrome. Um, so I'm just going to go to one. Um, this one is a volume control. So pretty much if you are on a YouTube video, you may know that if you were to drag two fingers on your trackpad up and down, you will scroll up and down the screen. But if you were to put your mouse on top of the video and do two finger scroll up and down, it will actually change the volume, uh, which is very neat. Um, it can get annoying sometimes if you want to go down the page, you have to just drag your mouse off of the video. So that's really nice. Um, the link for these applications also will be in the description. Um, so if you'd like to download that, all you have to do is just uh, install it and you're good to go. I already have it installed. Uh, my next application is an application called um, Highlight to Search. This is a very, very neat application. Um, let's say I were to highlight something. Um, and then right click on it, um, you can, it's not working right now, but usually it will open up and you can search it in Google, um, which is really, really neat. Uh, let me just try to do this right now. Um, hmm. There, as you see this little spotlight thing popped up, if I were to click on that, um, you could search it, all you have to do is hit enter, and it searches what I just copied, which is really, really neat and handy. Um, instead of having to copy it, go to Google, paste it in, hit enter, um, that's just a very nice way of doing that. Um, also, you may have seen me, when I copied something, um, right click, you can make it into a new note, so that, um, oh, it's not working right now, but, you can just copy the information and will automatically paste it into a new note. So that's pretty much it, guys. Those are my favorite applications um, for Google Chrome. All the links will be in the description, and all those applications are free, so uh, go check those out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Twitter. Peace.